I'm Ron Jane Carter. And I'm Sammy Vidal. And you are here on High Page Key Reality Radio, Colourful Radio. And we are live at the Africa Centre for Season 1, Episode 3 oh, yes. of our live blogging sessions. And we have got the beautiful Alea, followed by Rag CV, and then Abby Yell. We are seriously looking forward to this one. It's going to be a good one. Oh yes, you are locked in to Hype HQ Reality Radio on Colourful Radio. And we are at, well, we are on the live lobby session number three. <laughs> as you can hear, <laughs> okay, as you can hear, we've got a lot of people in the studio and they're very hyped up about this. Yeah, yeah. And we have got our first guest. So tell us who you are, what you're doing and where you're from. Hi everyone, my name is Leia and I'm from South London and I'm going to be performing three songs for you, two originals. Take it away. Okay. See, I've been hurt too many times and all my mistakes playing in my mind and is it your fault or is it mine and falling in love feels like a crime and they say I'm too young so I don't know what love is but I I feel I felt it cause emotions erupted see I I was confused but I knew that I would do anything and everything for you see I bought you GTA 5 Hugo Boss shirt a money shirt too but what was that worth and even now when I go inside the shop, I want to buy you things. But you got a girlfriend now, so I don't want to say I love you first. I don't want to put in all the words. I don't want to catch no feelings. If we're dealing, then I'm leaving because I'm scared that I will get hurt. I don't want to say I love you first. I don't want to put in all the words. I don't want to catch no feelings if we're dealing then I'm leaving cause I'm scared that I will get hurt I said when you held me in your arms felt like nothing in the world could hurt me and when you leave your phone on the bed see I would take like a thousand selfies you were six foot one or two used to have hair I try to convince myself and tell myself that I do not care well I do I miss you but there was never a title never official oh yeah. I poured my heart out to you and you threw it back in my face. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish that I never said I love you in the first place. I don't want to put in all the words. I don't want to catch no feelings. If we're dealing, then I'm leaving because I'm scared that I will get hurt. I don't want to say I love you first. I don't want to put in all the words. I don't want to catch no feelings. If we're dealing, then I'm leaving because I'm scared that I will get hurt. I said, no, no, no. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, no, no, no. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, no, 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 no. But he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, Mr. Please, cause I don't wanna do it again. I don't wanna say I love you first. I don't wanna put in all the words. I don't want to catch no feelings If we're dealing, then I'm leaving Cause I'm scared that I will get hurt I don't want to say I love you first I don't want to put in all the work I don't want to catch no feelings If we're dealing, then I'm leaving Cause I'm scared that I, I, I will get hurt
out. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. Cool. <laughs> this, this, this is this is this is going to be a problem. You know. Yeah. We're just yeah. becoming speechless. Yeah. You can't be speechless on radio. <laughs> <laughs> so you got another track. Yeah. This yeah? is um um Etta James song like quite old school. It's called I'd Rather Go Blind. And yeah. Okay. Can I can I just say Etta James? That's a massive song yeah. for you to choose. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Are your beatboxes ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something told me it was over when I saw you and her talking. <laughs> Something deep down in my soul said, cry, girl. When I saw you and that girl walking around, I would rather, I would rather go blind, boy, than to see you walk away from me, child. No, no. So you see, I love you so much that I don't want to watch you leave me, baby. <laughs> but most of all, I just don't, I just don't want to be free. I was just, I was just sitting here thinking of your kiss and your warm embrace. Yeah. <laughs> when a reflection in a glass that I held to my lips now, baby, <laughs> revealed these tears that are on my face. <laughs> and baby, 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 I'd rather be blind <laughs> than to see you walk away, walk away from me. And baby, 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 I'd rather be blind than to see you walk away, walk away from me. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. Your vocals are... And you've got another one, haven't you? Yeah. Um, this is another original. A little bit and different? Yes, yeah, like rapping like grime, R&B. Not R&B, but like grime, trap, tap. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Wives, wives. Okay, cool. Ready? Okay. Yeah. 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 I've been cold, I've been cold from time, so don't give me no chat. Fiction where, fiction who, what, where, only state the rule, facts me out. Coming like cats in a bando, follow my katar so she know her mango. Them guys say it takes two to tango, whips and chains, they come in like Django. Sheriff the town, we call the kid Rango, black queens for life, that's the damn lingo. Game something like bingo. Slavery ended the damn Jim Crow. That was a law used for us black folks. Beyonce said he's got a big ego. Sleep this off like a baby. Beefing must be man, must be crazy. Like, wait, stop. Dunya's mad. Bodies get dropped. Jail's a trend. When will it end? Wops have ops, the world's all meant some man then beef they move down to Kent wait. People can't afford to pay rent and cause they lend it all from the bank and rest in peace, the angel and Frank and females run this thing. Mm-hmm. Girls down south, yeah, 2017, yeah, we on this thing. Mm-hmm. I've just started, what the rotted, more to the table that I can bring. You don't know me, but you know me. I soon blow when this music ting. Wait now I sound like ooh, the man them, every princess needs her king. She done things on things on things. She done things on things on stuff, for all we know, she just might get kept. 
Chick one taught me, say you're too enough. Chick one taught me, say you're too enough. Even when I lose, I still am the winner. J. Cole preach it, J. Cole preach, he's a born sinner. I keep goals, I'm a goalkeeper. In real life, the FIFA, black and yellow, Wiz Khalifa. Without Tina, there's no turner. Without, but guess there's no burner. Without Bobby, there's no schmurder. Free him up. Hot. Earn our hate them fake people around me come like Oreos from Audi. Make silent moves, do silent things. There's no way that they can clown me. Say my buzz, bring you energy, chocolate, Hennessy, yacht up, get with me, chips one, end with me, Netflix, chilling B, mm -hmm. money B, perseverance, take it slow. In good time, we will really blow. Give you a energy, a chocolate, a Hennessy, a yacht up, get with me, chips one. Envy me. I'm too cold, I'm freezing. You might release my demons. Do you think a bag here, hunting, gleaming? CCS alone, free town, we're free men. Got best friend called Gwen, something like Ben 10. Touch my family, it's a rap, I might end them. World War II, something like Zoo. He ain't on piss and he ain't on poo. I read me, 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 or not you. Yeah, them clueless, they ain't got a clue. Make up your mind, you fool, you dumb you. Said he loves me, but then he loves you like choose. Hashtag win or hashtag lose. If you don't choose, I'll be hashtag rude. Something get chopped off, hashtag news. Take that one just hashtag lose like serious when man them act too cruddy and rude i feel like they're on their periods wait smoke that till it's gone eyes go ching eyes go chong black and we call him king kong correct new crepes on so watch where you step i'm a good girl but sometimes get vexed we've been the what we've been the pirate <laughs> 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 Shut down! Lay up! Yeah. Go! Oh my. I am blown days. away. Okay, I just gotta say some things really fast. Okay. You've oh. got control on your vocal, you sing, you spit. Anything else? Because that's a whole multitude of, of enough. Yeah. That's a lot. And can I just say the tonality of your vocal? Where does that come from? Who's inspired you, girlfriend? Because that um, voice is deep! Um. I think I really like Etta James. I, I like think so too. Whitney, Whitney Houston mm -hmm. and Beyonce and people like that. Yeah. How long have you been singing? Because, girlfriend, there's something going on there. Um, since I was like, let's say, um, 10 or something. Yeah. 10? Yeah. So what, have you been recognised? Is anybody managing you? What, is anybody talking to you about getting a deal, a publishing mm -hmm. deal? Do you do your song write? Yeah, I song write. I write my own songs. You play yeah. instruments? I can play the piano a little bit. You tinkle, you tinkle. Yeah, yeah. You tinkle. <laughs> you got some vibes. Give me some skin, man. That's some dope business right there. If you just tune in, this is Hype HQ Reality Radio. And oh my days, this is the live lobby. And tell us who you, tell us your name. Tell the people your name. Give us some plugs. Give us some, where, where can we find you? Where can um, we see I'm you? I'm Leia. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Leia the Artist underscore. And on Facebook at Leia the Artist underscore. And I've got an upcoming uh, music video coming out on Halloween. And then it's going to be released on all the platforms on next week Friday so it's going to be on Spotify, Google Play and iTunes. So, yeah. That's oh, yeah. that's that's just about right. So right everyone there. needs to go check that out. Yeah. Big time. Now the songs that you performed, do you want to just pop out the names? Um the first one is Love First. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Love First and it's original that I wrote. Um I don't know when that's going to be released but I'm still kind of like working on it. Mm -hmm. The second one Etta James and then the third one is the one that I'm releasing on Halloween the energy one yeah so what like made you write that song because um, I, I heard a good few lines in there what the last one yeah did you relate well, well, I mean, I mean a you lot relate? of lines why well, you yeah. didn't mention Aldi <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know really I just like I like, um, what do I listen to? I, I listen to like drill instrumentals. Mm -hmm. So I went on YouTube and played the instrumental and then I started writing to it. And then from there, that's where I kind of got you my idea. You were literally on fire. Yeah. <laughs> like, can't dang, even. Dang. Can, right, can we just talk about your age? You were only 17 years old. Now, I just want to ask, how do you stay so focused at music? Because um, I do go to a music mm -hmm. college. It's like a well-known music college, East London Arts yeah. and Music. So yeah. they kind of helped me there. Like we've had like a few master classes from quite famous people. So Amigos um, came to my wow. college and Steph, Steph London came to my college and that was really cool. 
yeah because they oh, spoke wow. about like their careers and stuff i was quite inspired by it mm. and the last thing i want to ask you is how do you do with your confidence because there might be a lot of artists listening thinking i'm i'm at the same age or i'm a bit younger how do i get the confidence to go out here and perform because what you just did now is amazing the room is full of people mm. and you yeah. did it so eloquently mm-hmm. um i just say practice mm-hmm. practice a lot it makes perfect and like get like your family and stuff to support you like yeah i've got my family with me <laughs> and yeah my mom's the one that kind of like pushes me to do things so if you have like a good support um you should be fine yeah that is amazing I'm so glad that you've got such an amazing like support system with yeah. you fantastic that's, that's brilliant i just want to say listen you are special make sure people hear you make sure you do yourself right by the online presence because online presence is everything make sure if you have an instagram it's music it's not you going shopping and going tesco's <laughs> so you understand yeah. make sure you do it right introduce yourself to the mm-hmm. airways and to the public properly okay. i think we're running out of time yeah. but lauren's gonna just tune us in or turn us out where we're, 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 we're yeah. at right now like, thank you so much for dang your 15 you. minutes live do, 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 do. Did you have a good experience? <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing, guys. Yeah, you're going to come back? Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we want yeah. you back. We want you back. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much, you. darling. <laughs> Ready some noise. Yeah. 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 We just had the multi-talented Leia. So she sung, she rapped. Listen, like, my, I'm tired. My mouth is dry from beatboxing that whole time. Shout out to Mr. EJ! Oh yes, but definitely, she was so, so amazing. And you know when you just go a bit speechless and all you use is the word amazing? That is company happening. Yeah, trust me. But now we're going on to a poet next, and it is Rad CV, so let's go. Second guest of the day. Uh, so tell us who you are, what you're doing, and where you're from. Yes, my name is Rag CV. I'm a poet. I run a registered charity called Poetic Unity, and I'm from Brixton, South London. Take it away. When I'm meeting someone new, convos vary. But the welcome is always the same, it rarely changes, so just hear me. It goes something like, hello, hun, if a girl, or yo, done, if a male, but it seems like both of the sexes can't help ask her the same old question. What are you? Sorry, come again? Rags, what are you? What do you think I am, stupid man? I'm a human being. I'm an alien to you, because my family are black and European. Or is it the fact that my skin is a light brown and I like to call it beige? Or just the way that I talk so your mind's so confused like I bet you 10 pounds you're bloody foolish ways? Listen, don't pee me off blood. I'm no different, because we're all different. And like most peeps in this room, I'm proud of where I'm from. Jamaican and Irish born in the south of London. But they won't define me. And more importantly, you meet me for the first time? Don't ask about background in the first line. Because you're on the box and you're staring typical bind. Sorry, bro, you're not too advanced in the mind to fool for ignorant kind. It's people like you? Why racism is still on the rise. You ask why? Morgan Freeman said it best. Racism will come to an end when we start talking about race. Question, why is it so important? We're all related. You can sit here debating all day long, but I won't change it. And who cares if a man's dark on a Wesley or whiter than Elvis Presley? Because the character of a man that makes him a saint or something deadly. So ask yourself, if after hearing what I've said, does it make you want to be more considerate instead? If it doesn't, and to be honest, my dude, the real question is, what am I? It's what are you? Thank you. I like the click still. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds strong. I was feeling that. I was feeling that. That was yeah. good. Um, thank you so much for that inspiring poetry. I think we're all creatively inspired here. Questioning who you are, your background, you know, be who you want to be. But tell us, because you said, you know, who are my rags? you know, telling us who you are. Tell us where the name Rag CV came from. Um, so that came from actually when I was in school. Um, my friend, we all kind of come up with little names for, for ourselves. Mm-hmm. And you know, when you're like 12 years old, we'll get your little street names. And then my friend said, oh, Ryan, you're so rags, man. Like, <laughs> I'm just rago and everything I say, and I'm just yeah. very blunt, I'm very honest. Um, and it just stuck with me since then. And then CV kind of came a bit later. Okay. Um, it stands for Cleverly Versatile. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a, it's, all, it's a group I created. And basically, it's just a movement of how we carry ourselves and what we do. So I'm, I do many different things, as we were talking about earlier. Yes. Um, so get to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we just clever and versatile, you know. So I love I put, it. Put it together, Rag CV. So there's no way there's another person called Rag CV. There might be someone called Rags. There's no one called Rag CV. That's the thing. That's what we said. We said it's very unique when we were mm-hmm. talking about it. We were like, how did you get this name? Where did it come from? Yeah. But thanks for elaborating on that. 
So we want to talk a little bit about your background. Yeah. So what did you do previously before you started doing poetry? Um, well, when I first, first, first started out in the industry, um, I learned as a DJ when I was 16 um, on belt drive decks. As you can see, <laughs> old, yeah. school. Yeah. old school. Old school, yeah. So um, I learned as a DJ first, and that's, I went on to uh, On Top FM back in the day on a radio station. And um, from then, I started doing grime. Um, and then I started rapping. Okay. Which is, a, to me, a completely different thing, mm-hmm. grime and rap. And then um, I started doing poetry, which kind of happened by accident. Because I feel like with poetry, people listen more to what you're saying. They listen intensely to the lyrics and actually care about the lyricism. Whereas now of rap, it's a bit watered down. It's not really for me. Whereas before it was more about the lyricism. So that's why I got into poetry and spoken word. Okay. Cool. So do you think poetry has more of an impact these days than, than rapping? Yeah, definitely. I feel like poetry is more uh, focused on social issues. Mm-hmm. And the subjects that we're talking about are relatable to everybody that's you know, listening. Yeah, I agree. I think it's especially from what your performance just then, it was very inspiring and it really meant something. And it it's more engaging, I think, as well to rapping these days. Like you said, it's very it's very different. And I mm-hmm. like that you've cleared that up because I was about to say what's the difference, but you and it's said fun- it all. <laughs> it's funny you say that as well because like obviously rap actually stands for rhythm and poetry. Mm-hmm. So rap and poetry are more or less the same. Yeah, you would, you would think that. Yeah. Necessary, I would have said, mm-hmm. oh, it's the same, but you, yeah. you've proven me wrong today, definitely. Yeah, just a little bit of a difference in the fact that with rap, most of the time, obviously, there's music behind it. With poetry, there, is, there isn't usually, but there is sometimes as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just feel like poetry, people listen more to what you're saying, and there's always a message. Mm-hmm. You have to have a message, because if you're performing without music behind you, yeah. um, and you're talking rubbish... People are gonna, you know, yeah, you're gonna know. True. You yeah. can't just have a hype beat in the background. So, do you prefer with music behind you or without? I have both. So, okay. I've got spoken word with music behind me, um, and I've got spoken word without, as you heard. Um, so, it just, I don't mind either way. But as long as for me, with the, the poetry I use with music, it's like very subtle. Mm-hmm. It just brings, um, it makes it more emotional, if that makes sense. It brings a, um, a feeling to the poetry. Yeah. It just adds to it, you know? Yeah. Um, growing up in Brixton, like South yeah. London, do you think that kind of affected you? Because uh, especially the music, there's a lot of MCs, grime, rapping. <laughs> do you think that affected, like, because y- you mentioned about how you, poetry and like rap, or now yeah. poetry, it's more, you can express yourself more. So do you think growing up where you did, like, affected you and made you get into music? Made you want to take a different route and step away from rap? Um, I think, like, definitely growing up in Brixton, any area you grew up in mm-hmm. as, a, as, a, as a part in your life. Um, obviously, Brixton, when I grew up in Brixton, was Brixton. Brixton isn't Brixton no more. Mm-hmm. For Very those different. Who, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was a tough area. So yeah. you had to have thick mm-hmm. skin. Um, and, you know, so if I said back then I was going to do poetry, I would have laughed at yeah. myself. You know what I'm saying? Because uh-huh. back then it wasn't seen as something we would do. Yeah. But obviously now I've gotten older and I can see, you know, um, how positive poetry can be and mm-hmm. the, the message you can put across. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a good thing. But with Brixton, growing up there, I feel like I wouldn't have done poetry because of that, mm-hmm. the area I grew up in. But it definitely got me into, like you know, rap yeah. and other stuff like that. So it definitely played a part. So moving forward from um, talking about your past, let's talk about what's happening now. So obviously you have a charity yeah. called Poetic Unity, if I'm yeah, correct. Yes, that's right. been going for about two years now. Yeah, about so, two years. So, which is an incredible charity. Um, you can give us a quick description on what that's about, but we'd love to know about um, you know what your plans are for the future with your charity. What's going to happen now, and what you want to do next? Yeah, so Poetic Unity is a registered charity that provides alternative education for young people through poetry. So going to schools, or going to colleges, or going to pre referral units, young offenders, prisons, nice. anywhere where there's young people. Um, and we kind of teach uh, poetry through, sorry, we teach alternative education through poetry. Um, so sometimes the curriculum, sometimes it's other stuff. Um, also we do regular events to give young people a space, um, it's in particular to build a community. And also we um, do like mentoring schemes, so one-to-one support for young people. Um, so we've got a lot of things coming up. Um, We've actually got a film right now. Oh, cool. Um, a short documentary, which is on BBC iPlayer. Nice. Um, it's called In Other Words. And basically, it's a film about how uh, poetry can help young people's mental illness. So we do a lot of stuff with mental health awareness. Um, it's actually only going to be on iPlayer for like another three or four days. It's been okay. on there for about a month now. But it got premiered at BFI. Wow. Um, and it was televised on BBC Four first about a month ago. And then obviously now it's on iPlayer for another three or four days. So... 
Yeah, go on, you can go on to our social medias, which I'll explain later. Yeah, but um, um, a massive fine. congratulations to that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. And it's so, it's nice to hear that you're doing such incredible things for young people. It's so inspiring. And it's, I think it's a great way to help people, you know, through education. Yeah. You know, everyone learns in different ways. And I think poetry is a great way to do it. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. So you spoke about events with your, um, the poetry, poetic charity. Mm-hmm. I can't talk. Um, <laughs> so t- tell us, like, are there any, any events coming up? Soon. Yeah, so we run a, a regular event um, in Brixton um, called the Poets Corner. It's every Wednesday at the Black Cultural Archives. I'm not sure if you've been there before, but if you haven't, go there. It's a great place for history. <laughs> you know about it, yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great place for history, especially Black British history, which I think we need to know more about. Um, so we run that event every Wednesday. Actually, this Wednesday, we've got a competition final. Um, we've been running a competition for a month. Um, it's actually a Black British history competition. Obviously, it's Black History Month. Um, so in the final, each poet has to perform at least one poem on Black British history. So we want people to learn more about the history yes. through poetry, if that makes sense. Yeah, so it makes it more that. fun, makes it more engaging, and people actually learn them without even realising they're learning, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that's every Wednesday. Um, we've got a big event coming up in December, December the 9th, called... Um, it's actually my birthday event. I'm turning 30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting old, man. I'm getting old, man. <laughs> you don't um, look it, it's fine. Don't it's worry. Actually, <laughs> actually, <laughs> how old do you think I look? Uh, like, like 24. <laughs> yeah, in the I'll tell you that still, I'll tell you that. Um, the event's actually called Beige Don't Age. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like so, that. That's very that. clever. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to be 30. Um, it's going to be a great event. We do, we do like free, um, big events every three or four months. Okay. So this event will be about 400 people there. Um, so this event's going to have comedy, poetry, live music, a magician as well, game shows, um, after party impressed. till three in the morning. Um, it's going to be in Croydon. So quite yeah. far for those who don't live in South. So I do uh, guys, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, again, like that's going to be um, December the 9th um, at the Croydon Conference Centre. It's going to be a great show. Um, tickets are available now. So um, get down com. there. Yeah. Yeah. Get down Friday the 9th. Where, where can they get the tickets from? Uh, shubs.com. Yeah, yeah just enough. type in beige, don't age. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll so, come up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of wrap it up a bit. Now I just want to talk about any listeners that are listening mm-hmm. and they want to get into spoken word, like aside from going to your events, which yeah. obviously help them, what advice would you give to them? Um, the, f- the great thing about poetry and spoken word is that there is no right or wrong way of doing mm-hmm. it, if that makes sense. So like there's not, for example, with like rap, just for example, I think it's, it's very um, cynical. You see what I'm saying? So if you're not good, people will, like throw bottles at you in a show. You know what I'm saying? Like, poetry's not like that. It's not like that. It's a nice environment. So for example, if you just write a poem, so say you wrote a poem today mm-hmm. and you said, Rags, hey, I want to come to your show on Wednesday to perform. Even if you wasn't that good in your mind, you wouldn't get like throwing a bottle at it. We'll get oh, encouragement. You see what I'm trying to say? So <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's, that's always good. That's the great thing about poetry. You can literally just go and write something. It's just, for me, poetry is just your thoughts. Mm-hmm. It's just your thoughts on the page. It doesn't have to rhyme either. Um, and from that point, once you put thoughts on the page, that's when you can go from there. And obviously go to events like what we do as other events as well, mm-hmm. not just ours. Um, and then just, you know, gain the confidence to perform. But writing is the first, is the first step and that's what I would say really. So oh, I think it's perfect. important to, uh, to hear that poetry is your thoughts because, yeah. and it's okay to speak your thoughts because a lot of people, I think that's quite hard, but um, that's what you need to remember that you're not going to get judged on how you think or how you see things. That's so I think that's really it. important. So. Um, how do you write your poetry? I know it's your thoughts, but I mean, do you just write what comes to, from your head and then you rewrite it again? How do you... That's an what's interesting your tec- question. What's your technique? Yeah, so I've got different techniques. So for example, the poem I performed earlier, I wrote that, this is when I used to work um, in retail about four years ago, I wrote that in my head while I was at work. Because <laughs> like, I, could, I couldn't write it down yeah. because I was at work. So I was like, oh, I need to remember this. <laughs> so I was writing it piece by piece in my head yeah. and then finally I got a little bit of... Uh, paper from the till. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so it depends. Like obviously, that was a bit of a unique situation, so I yeah. had to remember it in my mind. But usually, it's something that happens to me directly or something that I see happen to people I know. Um, and it's usually something that f- affects, you know, the masses. Something mm-hmm. that I like to talk about things that people can think about and also spark a conversation. Yeah. You know, so we've got, I've got stuff like, obviously, that one's about... There's a lot of people who are mixed race who get that question, mm-hmm. what are you? Yeah. Especially if you look different. Like, mm-hmm. if you're not look the typical way, then obviously you're going to get a question. Even if you're not mixed, you might get that question. Yeah. If you look a certain way, you see? Mm-hmm. You're, even if you're like, you're black, but you look light-skinned, they might say, what are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why is your hair like that? Yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? So a lot of people get that question. So I thought that was quite a relevant thing. And obviously I've got uh, poetry on mental health, poetry on um, 
the digital age that we're living in now, how we're so connected to our phones and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So I like to rap. <laughs> Big up my man there in the camera. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I don't even like look at him and just, he's doing it anyway. But anyway, <laughs> that one's called Digital Slaves. So, like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, um, but yeah, so I've got different types of poetry. So I like, to, but I do like to write about things that I feel is like something that a lot of us are going through. Yeah. You know, and it's something that directly affects me as well, mm-hmm. you know, so. Well, thank you. Well, yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, Inspiring. Like I said, I was literally I'm really, say, really inspired. inspired. Yeah. 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 Thank well, you. thank you so much for coming in. Would you like to give everyone your socials? Yeah, so my actual personal socials are RAGCV everywhere. So it's R A G Z C V. Um, for Poetic Unity socials, the Twitter is Poetic underscore Unity. Um, the Instagram is Poetic Unity. Facebook is Poetic Unity Project. And the website is poeticunity.org.uk. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank it's you. been amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I cook it. That was Rag CV with his amazing poetic piece. And next up, we're going to be due to Abby out. She's brought a guitarist a lot, so I'm really excited to see what kind of genre she's going to go. So am I. Let's have a look. So it is nearly at 10 past two, and we are in for our third guest. So, who are you? What are you doing? And where are you from? So I'm Abby L and I'm from East London and today I'm going to be singing some songs from my EP called Released. So I'll just take it away. Take it away. <laughs> She found my shoe She told me keep on walking So that's what I do And I say Sweet girl Don't you leave girl You're nothing like the others Sweet girl If you leave girl There will be no others Sweet girl, don't you leave, girl. You're nothing like the others. Sweet girl, if you leave, girl, there will be no others. Amazing grace, she saved my soul. They took me for granted. But she, she made me whole She picked up my pieces And got out her glue She told me keep on walking So that's what I do And I say Sweet girl, don't you leave girl You're nothing like the others Sweet girl, if you leave, girl, there will be no others. Sweet girl, don't you leave, girl, you're nothing like the others. Sweet girl, if you leave, girl, there will be no others. No others. No others, no others. So that was Have You Met Grace? And I guess that song just relates to like that person in your life who, you know, it could be your inner strength. It could be like your your mom. It could be your family member. It could be a friend. So that's Have You Met Grace? And that's out on... Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer, so Deezer, so go and check it out. 
That was absolutely insane. That was great. That was an amazing wave. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Glad you guys enjoyed it. (laughs) So the next one we're going to do is called um, Watch Your Back. So this is also on my EP called Released. So let's take it away. a fool for you you took me and you molded me and made me hate myself and now i'm here i'm here and no one else can come into this frame of mine i maintain i feel the pain i feel the rain i feel it against my window pane I wear the stain from your moments in the spotlight that led me to the dark. Wherever you go, please just know I'll be running after you, after you. Watch your back, cause all the day I'll be running after you, after you. I was a fool, but I tried to play it cool. Been playing the fool since we were back in school. You use me as your tool. You have my heart as proof. I cried, but there's no use. You walk away, but the price you pay is one that I can never say. Just watch me slay as I walk out from your spotlight and head into the dark. Wherever you go, please just know I'll be running after you, after you. Oh, watch your back, cause all the day I'll be running after you, after you. Watch your back mm-hmm. Watch your back Ooh Watch your back You better watch your back Ooh I'll be there Feel my Wherever you go, please just know I'll be running after you, after you. Watch your back, cause all her take, I'll be running after you, after you. Watch your back. You better watch your back. Watch your back. You better watch your back. Thank you. Thank you guys. So that was Watch Your Back and I hope you guys could could relate to that. There was a bit of hurt and a bit of pain in there. So hope that <laughs> hope that, that that came through in some way, but at the same time, I guess it's about going out there, downloading, right? Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So this next one is actually produced by a producer Omari, who's here on guitar today. <laughs> and also by Squizzle Itel, who couldn't be here today. But yeah, so the two of them got on this track and um, put it, put it together with me and like. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's called Unruly. (laughs) 
Like a thief in the night, he came and stole my heart. Moved into my world and made all oceans part. He took over the place with his reckless ways. He was everywhere I was. He wouldn't give me space. He's unruly, unruly, unruly. He's unruly, unruly. He's unruly. When I would try to speak, so focused on himself, every word was me, me, me. I was caught in his gaze, so wrapped up in his ways. He was everywhere I was, he wouldn't give me space. He's unruly, 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 he's unruly, unruly. Unruly, and that's out on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes. So get out there and get downloading. Hope you guys enjoyed it, everyone at home and everything. <laughs> that was so so good. And I just want to say, when you're performing, you can proper feel the emotion. I know yes. I don't know about anybody else mm -hmm. in the studio, <laughs> but like you kind of have the power, and you kind of got some sass with that as yeah. well. Like just your facial expression. I'm loving it. I'm yeah. digging it. I'm so <laughs> digging it. Yeah. Oh. So I just want to ask about your EP. It's called Released. So how did this come about? Because it has connotations of setting you free. Yeah, so ulti ultimately it's a journey about like me being set free and my uh -huh. music being set free because I feel like for so long it was difficult to like, you know, put this music together and get it out there so that people could really have it. So it was like that being released and then also like the stories that I wanted to tell and like I feel like I've been in a journey in the mm -hmm. last year or so and really been able to be like set free and released. So that was how the name came about really. So the three tracks, were they written recently or have they been? So out of those three, the first one that was actually written was like Watch Your Back. And that was written actually last year. Mm -hmm. um, and that was produced, I was pro that was produced by um, Squizzle. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was kind of like when I began to come more into my sound and that was, the song that kind of came about really yeah and then like unruly was like probably the last one <laughs> that was made for the ep really so um yeah so when is this ep released so i actually put it out on the 20th of august oh, okay. um yeah so it's already out Exciting. so you can get on there right now and get on it like i had an ep launch in shoreditch in oh, august yeah so it was really amazing everyone showed up and like hopefully i'll be putting out some footage of that soon mm. or so watch his face <laughs> wow that that's amazing now i just want to talk about growing up in east london do you feel like this affected your sound and your music because it's i feel like it's a lot different especially east london there's music everywhere like all different types of genres yeah absolutely i feel like 
even from like back in school, like I was in the playground mm. and that was a time when I thought I was some kind of MC and I was on this <laughs> bit. <laughs> As you can imagine, like grime is, a lot of mm. the grime roots are from East London. Um, so it was kind of started from there and I also used to sing back then as well. But I guess in terms of East London on the whole, there's been like so many experiences that I've been able to come across, so many mm. talented artists and like showcases in places such as Shoreditch, for example. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's been, it's been quite inspirational, definitely. Wow. So how, I just want to know, how did you meet your t- guitarist? Because I think oh, we need to give him a little yes. bit of credit as well. Okay, thank you so much for playing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing. He's super talented. He like is. He can play more than the guitar, trust me. Oh, can he? So he, yeah. so he produced your last track you performed as well? Yeah, so he produced that um, with... Um, he co-produced that with Squizzle Mm -hmm. and um yeah it was kind of like I guess when that came about I kind of was like oh like Amari I've got this idea of like this song and I called him up and I was just like yeah like um these are some of the lyrics but like the melody still we can play with that a little bit but let's just you know Mm -hmm. like see what you can do and then like bless him he got up there and then I was like oh yeah wow yeah I like this and then <laughs> it just kind of built from there really so we just built up a vibe well and, all I can yeah. say is that you work very very well together yeah. thank you <laughs> <laughs> now would you like to put your socials out so everyone can go find you yes absolutely so I am Abby L so I'll put it in a little rhythmic way for you guys oh, so A B I to the E E L L to the E. So A B I E E L L E. So Abby L. And go and check me out. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, I've got a YouTube channel too, SoundCloud. So yeah, but my main area to keep up to date is probably Instagram. So check it out. A B I E E L L E. Well, I know that it's going to be in everyone's head because yeah, in yeah. mine, I'm just spelling it out. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. We hope to have you back very, very soon. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So that was the amazing Abiel, indie, pop, acoustic, she was just insane. And guys, unfortunately that's it for our live lobby session number three, but we'll be back next week from one to four with three new amazing artists. And you don't want to miss out, so make sure you subscribe, go to the Colourful Radio website where you can listen to us from one to four, and also comment below, because we'd love to know what you're thinking. And guys, I've been Sammy Vidal. I'm Lauren Jane Carter. And we're High Pitch Q Reality Radio at Colourful Radio. And we've got Miss EJ on the camera as well. Just a little bit of credit. Down down. Down. In Southwark, listen people, it's big, it's huge. I don't know what to say to you, but the talent that's just come through this building today on this Saturday morning has been extravagant. Uh, right now, we have got the beautiful... Amari. Amari, I like the way you said that with all the confidence in the world. Like that. Right, Amari is going to accompany our three artists, and we have... Rack CV. And we have Abby L. And we have Leo. This is it. <laughs> and we have the beautiful, beautiful Amari who's going to play music. Let's give us something bubbly and kick it up and let's start. And guys, take it away as you feel. This is a freestyle, people. So if you're tuning in, let us know what you think. Okay, take it away, Artis. <laughs> Yo, yo, listen, see this one here is for anyone that is suffering, anyone who's going through the constant demands of life, don't give up, please, let me be your motivation, let me be the reason why you get up in the morning and fill in that job application because you're somebody, you're somebody that can make somebody happy every time you smile, so don't be afraid to show off the pearly whites. Also make sure you look after yourself and have some early nights because life is mad. Yeah. It could turn upside down any second. I know what it feels like on a roller coaster of emotions that never seem to be letting go, but bad stuff happens to everybody. It's how you deal with it. Mm. You've got to take control and I know it's not easy. Especially in a society that makes men feel weak every time they speak on their depression. Yeah. But I want to put a stop to this top myth that men opening up like a locksmith is some sort of weakness. Because it's the ones who speak less who usually end up in a deep mess. So who you fooling? We're all human beings and imagine if all of us stop talking. On this journey, we will struggle. On 
this journey we will overcome overcome so don't hold yourself back. hold yourself back don't hold yourself don't hold yourself back don't hold yourself don't hold yourself, don't hold yourself back Look, look your reflection even if it isn't perfect. Tell yourself you're beautiful, you're unique and you're worth it. Some may disagree but only your opinion matters. Haters gonna hate aims to make dreams shatter. Look, self-love is a must. Without that there's complications like questioning your purpose, who you are and what your aim is. Never by the hand that feeds you. Lying is the worst, just be true to yourself and other people. Lord protect me from the evil. You know you live and you die and don't you get the message. Constant crying on telephones cause your ex just messed up. What the, you don't need to be independent and lead. I pray guys and can all don't let them take you for Take a look at your reflection. 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 Don't get set back by the closed doors. Don't get set back. Open your eyes to a new day. A new day. A new You see a scrub is a guy that thinks he's fly is also known as a buster Sitting there thinking about what he wants and just sit on I his I oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh.